CrossFit. Welcome to another Fitness Friday video. This week we are going to take a little bit of that hook grip video. We're going to apply it to some movement. Um, we are going to start a little barbell cycling series. This week we're going to cover the three cleans, muscle, power, and squat. And next week we are going to cover the three snatches, muscle, power, and squat. Um, a lot of the same uh, mechanics will apply to the two. Um, so I will cover most of those on this clean video. Um, I'll recover some of them on the snatch, but then I will talk about the um, subtleties of the clean and the subtleties of the snatch. Uh, so with that, let's get started. First things first, what are we gonna do? We are going to hook grip. Uh, so that hook grip is gonna be the first thing we do. Um, every time we cycle a barbell, it's just like cycling gymnastics. So if you remember from that uh, muscle up video that we talked about, Everything that we do should be cyclical and it should be um, simple enough that we can repeat it and constantly repeat it under high uh, levels of fatigue. So um, when we can keep those mechanics the same uh, through and through, our lives are going to be much easier. So we are going to set up just like we do any other clean and from there we are going to take that barbell off the floor. Um, for that muscle clean, subtleties here are going to be um, and this will be something we hopefully learn down the road if you haven't yet. Uh, a little bit of hip contact. That hip contact will give us a little bit of a bolt off of our hips into that clean. Um, the, just like we were talking about, we want things to be repetitive. So we want to keep that barbell nice and close to our body. So as soon as I pull, I'm pulling with my arm. So that pop is here. On that muscle clean, we're not re-bending our knees. So our feet should stay relatively right in place. And we come straight up into that clean. Especially on the muscle clean and the power clean, elbows tend to be a problem. If we are leaving our elbows back here, these are not reps. So anytime we come up, we wanna make sure we flash those elbows before we come down. Now, when we come down, this is the most important part um, because how we come down sets us up for the next rep and it will either set us up for success or failure. Uh, the thing I like to teach on cycling a barbell, especially on the clean, is to get our elbows over the bar as fast as possible and ride it down. So I'm gonna come from the top, I'm gonna get my elbows over the bar, and then from there, I am ideally going to come straight down. If I do the pause, like a lot of people see, where I come down, come here, and then I set, chances are I'm gonna throw something off. Um, I'm also adding tension to the bar. Um, so I am adding time under tension. My grip is going to be feeling it. It feels it right now. Um, so. What I like to teach is come down. You can brush off your thighs, but I don't want to see that bar completely stop and then go in. But what I want to see is those knees stay back. So every time I've done that, notice that those knees stay back as I come down, nice and vertical. So I come down, brush, and I should be in that exact same start position that I started with originally. And then from there, tap, contact, up, and down. So now we're going from that muscle to the power. The only difference here, everything else stays the same, feet stay in place, a little bit of kick off the top. When we come down, elbows over the top, brush into the next rep. The only thing we change is the catch position. That catch position should be that athletic position that we always constantly preach. That position is right here to where if I wanted to, this is a nice athletic stance. If you've ever played high school, middle school, um, rec sports, they teach you that athletic position. Same thing here. We're just catching a barbell. Um, the cue I like to give people is go attack the barbell. If I wait for that barbell to come to me off my hips, I'm gonna catch it back here. This is not where we wanna be. Puts a lot of stress on our knees, a lot of stress on our low back. We want to go attack that barbell, catch it, stand it up, right over the top. Back in the next row. And then for the squat, this is where things can get a little wonky, especially with our footwork. Um, tendency is when we catch that first rep, we're gonna start with our feet in, and then that first rep, we'll probably move them out a little bit. That's totally fine. But after I stand up, I don't wanna be moving my feet back in. It's only gonna take more time. So I'm gonna keep my feet right there and just cycle from that position to keep everything the same and the lowest amount of time in between reps. If you have any questions on cycling that clean, please let me know, let, me, let one of our other coaches know. Um, this would be a great one for personal training. 
If you want a little one-on-one -on -one work, fit your mechanics, um, fit your clean, uh, that would be a great idea. Uh, but with that, enjoy the rest of your Friday, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and have a good one.